Hey, Dennis K here with Belize Islands Real Estate. Um, this is uh, day three of trying to convince my brother here to invest in Belize real estate. Um, we are right now on the island of Borano? Morano. Borano. Borano. So all of the colored uh, fishermen shacks are here. It's a gorgeous island known for its lace. Let me just kind of show you guys the view. So check this out. So just amazing what they've done here. But, um, you know, me and Mike were talking earlier over a, a nice glass of white wine, our different investment strategies. And so, Mike, just to kind of reiterate, how are you investing right now and what sort of challenges are you finding? Well, currently I'm trying to invest in some rental properties and just real estate in general up in, uh, in the U.S. and South Carolina. I guess one of the biggest things I'm having a hard time with is getting the 25% down in order to put into those properties, especially with the steep incline of pricing. So to be able to get in at the right time. So I guess that's my biggest hurdle. Yeah, absolutely. So that, that is a challenge right now for a lot of people looking to buy rental properties, um, you know, apartment buildings and that in the States is coming up with that initial down payment. Um, as far as retirement, Mike, how old are you? I forgot, you know, I forgot my brother's own age. 43. All right, so 43. So let's say you want to retire in, let's say 20 years when you're 63. What sort of like monthly income or what sort of, you know, just in general terms, are you looking at in order to be able to retire, quit working and sort of travel and do what you want? Well, by then I was hoping to have about three or four properties that uh, by then will hopefully be paid off in 20 years. That will then be start giving me that residual payment from renting those properties out. All right, so you're looking for cash flow. Absolutely. All right, so that's a pretty good investment strategy, right? So you buy a property now when you're younger, you come up with the down payment, uh, your renters are paying the rent and any upkeep that's going to be needed over the next, you know, 10, 15 years. And if you do it right, then at the end of the 15 years, you have three homes, right? Correct. So nice three homes. And then that rental income, let's say in 20 years, that rental income is at least probably 2,500 a home, right? Because rents go up, you know, most rents go up, especially in areas like Mike's. So let's say when you retire, you got about 7,500 a month coming in free and clear is that about that, right that seems reasonable all right good now is that enough to fund your retirement lifestyle have you calculated the numbers is that good or you need more is it is it less that you need what do you think about that 7500 a month well because we plan on traveling hopefully uh after we retire even more than we do now um it isn't quite enough so i'm still looking for possibly some other scenarios in which i could help uh, uh get us a little bit more income coming in or equity all right and so, and that back, that's a good investment strategy what Mike's doing. If I lived in the States and if I had the lifestyle Mike does where he has a family, he's uh, in one area, he owns his own home. In fact, he's got a lot of equity in his home. He's done very good with it. And then he's also buying rental properties. He knows his market. It's actually a really good investment strategy. But like he said, also, it, it's good to diversify a little bit, to look at other areas. So what I'm trying to talk Mike into, or show him rather, is how he can invest in Belize real estate to generate some additional cash flow now and when he goes into retirement. Oh my goodness, you guys, this place is just beautiful. Let me show you this. Pardon. Oh, such a gorgeous little place. You know, the colors of the houses here remind me a lot of Key Cocker. Some of the brightly colored homes. So I think our boat's going to be straight out here and to the left, right? I think so. All right. So, so yeah. So over the next uh, couple of days, I'm going to present some ideas to Mike on how he can, you know, invest in up and coming areas. One more thing I wanted to bring out is that you and your wife have no desire to live in Belize, do you? Uh, no, we no. do not. So they've been there before. They like the country for vacations, but uh, him and Nicole have no desire to live there. So personal use is off the table. So all we're doing is looking for something for Mike that generates the highest amount of return and cash flow that he can then use uh, to either retire on or fun experiences like this. So for example, Mike, did you have to save up money to take this trip? And I never asked you this question before. Did you save up money? How, how did you get the funds to, to make this trip? Yeah, we had to save up some funds over the time okay. and uh, look at other investments, uh, a little bit of equity too a few items okay all right so good so like most people mike and his family saved up to take a trip like this spending two weeks in italy 
Steph and I were able to take this trip and all of our other trips to 2022 based on our, our cash flow, our income from mortgages and other things like that. So the goal here is to live a lifestyle you want to live and do things you want to do, not based on income, but on passive income that comes from investment. So Mike, are you getting there? I'm getting there. I mean, it makes sense. So all right. I want all to right. hear more. All right. Let's do it. Talk to you soon.